Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a seamless zoom transition in Adobe Premiere Pro, where one clip zooms right through into the next. Let's dive in. I've got three clips in the timeline with straight cuts between each. We'll move the playhead to the cut point between the first two clips and zoom in a little. We'll create this transition using adjustment layers. First, go to the project window, click new item, select adjustment layer, hit OK, and drag the adjustment layer over a track above the cut point. Hold shift and hit the left arrow key three times to move 15 frames to the left of the cut point and trim the adjustment layer to that position. Then go 15 frames to the right of the cut and do the same. Hit C to select the razor tool and cut the adjustment layer right at the center, aligning it with the video clip cut. Press V to return to the selection tool. Now let's work on the first half of the transition. Zooming out of the first clip, select the first half of the adjustment layer, go to Effects, search for Transform, and double click it to apply. In the Effect Controls panel, under the Transform effect, click the stopwatch beside Scale to create a keyframe. Move forward to the second to last frame and set the scale value to 200 to add another keyframe. This zoom will animate linearly by default, so let's improve it. Select both keyframes, right click, choose Ease In, then right click again and choose Ease Out. Drag the control handles fully to the right to create a velocity curve for smooth acceleration. Move the second keyframe to the end of the adjustment layer. Finally, uncheck Use Composition's Shutter Angle and set the shutter angle to 360 for maximum motion blur. This adds a smooth, dynamic zoom with natural blur as velocity increases. Next, we'll build the second half of the transition. We don't want to zoom in from below 100% scale because that creates blank space. Instead, we'll create an optical illusion using a few effects. Select the second adjustment layer, go to Effects, and search for Replicate. Add it and set the count to 3, creating a 3x3 three three grid of the original clip. So now we have this 9-panel version of the original clip, with one in the center that we'll eventually zoom into. But we have these hard edges where each of these clones meet. So we're going to use another effect to make this look like one big seamless image. Go back to Effects, then search for Mirror and apply it four times. In the Effect Controls panel, set the reflection angle of the first mirror effect to 90 degrees and adjust the Y value to align the edges. Repeat for the second mirror with a minus 90 degree angle and adjust Y again. For the third mirror, set the angle to 180 degrees and adjust the X value. Finally, set the fourth mirror angle to zero and adjust the X value to remove the last seam. You now have a seamless nine tile grid with the original frame centered. As you've seen, creating a smooth zoom transition in Premiere Pro takes a hell of a time. That's why I've created something special for you, a mega transitions pack that saves you all that time and effort. This pack includes ready-made professional transitions like zoom effect, glitch effects, seamless style cuts, and light leaks and flares. All of these are drag and drop, meaning no plugins required and fully compatible with Premiere Pro. You're getting this powerful preset collection for a very affordable price. Here's the official landing page with all the key features and full details. Once you complete your purchase, the pack will be delivered instantly to your email. It includes everything I mentioned, plus a step-by-step -step guide to help you use the transitions with ease. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to reach out via email. So don't waste time reinventing the wheel. Grab the pack now. Link is in the description. Level up your editing game today. Now add the transform effect to the second adjustment layer. Just like before, click the stopwatch beside scale to create a keyframe, but this time set the value to 150. Move forward to the second to last frame and set the scale to 300. And now we've got our full sized image back. We animated the scale in the first clip from 100 to 200, basically doubling it. So we're doubling the scale on this clip as well from 150 to 300. We'll add easing to this animation as well. So select both keyframes, right click, ease in, right click, ease out. But this time, instead of accelerating into the transition, we're going to decelerate out of it. So we're going to drag both those easing handles way over to the left this time. Now we can move the second keyframe to the end and, of course, uncheck Use Composition Shutter Angle and set the shutter angle to 360 to add that motion blur. 
To enhance the transition further, we'll add an elastic bounce effect. Duplicate the first adjustment layer by holding Option, Mac, or Alt, PC, and dragging it to a higher track. Stretch it across the full transition. Go to the Effect Controls window and delete the Transform effect. And in the Effects window, search for Lens Distortion. Double-click that effect to add it to your new adjustment layer. And with that effect, we can change the curvature of our footage. So we're going to use this to add a bit of an elastic feel to this transition. Click the stopwatch beside curvature to add a keyframe at the beginning of the layer, add another keyframe in the middle, and one at the end. Go to the middle keyframe and set the curvature there to negative 30. You can play around with this value depending on how elasticy you want your transition to look. I like negative 30. It's enough to make a noticeable difference, but not completely over the top. And once again, we're going to add Add some easing here. Select all three keyframes, right click, ease in, right click, ease out, and this time we'll drag all the keyframe handles towards the middle, creating this curved V shape with the velocity graph. And now we have this cool frame bending elastic -y feel to the transition. I'll hide the second track so you can see this a bit better. The first clip kind of slingshots into the next. You can now duplicate this transition by selecting all adjustment layers holding Option or Alt and dragging them to another cut point. And there you have it, a professional zoom transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you need any help. I'm always here to answer your questions and support you.